There are a whole lot of nesting boxes in this episode, from Matthew Deaver's coffin to the box of the room full of monitors where Zaleski has been hunkered throughout much of this first act of the story. There's a sort of mystery box of Henry's own past that he's been reluctant to open, and he opens it and discovers something inside that I don't think he expected or hoped he'd ever find there. The eagle-eyed Stephen King readers might recognize the name Desjardins from The Body, which is the story that was turned into Stand By Me. We were very interested in seeing a little bit of what had become of that family. Your brother was Vince Desjardins? It's you. The Deaver boy. Henry, at every step along the way, is sort of trying to reconstruct and construct an idea of actually what happened to him. I know Henry. I've always known. Whose version of the events of the past is the right version? Henry did it. Good reverend told me. Pangborn uh, has good reason to be distrustful of Henry. It's going to change their dynamic moving forward. This ending is the culmination of Zaleski's entire story over the first four episodes. This nightmare ending is the scene of epic carnage. This good-hearted, wonderful guy who tries to do the right thing in calling Henry in the first place now is brought by either circumstance or some force that he can't control to try to cleanse this prison in the worst possible way. We take really seriously questions about how we depict violence. This wall of security cameras was a really haunting and harrowing way to represent it for an audience. It travels from monitor to monitor and follows Zaleski's course, you know, sort of like this nightmarish game of Pac-Man. This is really the first moment where Henry begins to see the terrible events that unfold in Castle Rock and beyond. And there's a real feeling that we're going to see Henry brought into the eye of the storm again and again in the back half of this season. By the time we get to this moment, the storm is kind of gathering around him. 